If you're thinking about getting started in property or real estate photography, but maybe you're a bit put off by the amount you've got to spend on equipment when getting started, well, I've got some good news for you. You don't need to spend several thousand pounds on equipment when getting started because you could get started with a camera like this, the Sony ZV-E10, which costs you 600 pounds brand new, and you can get amazing results like this. So as you've just seen, you can get some great results with this little camera. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll talk through all the gear you'll need to get started in real estate photography and how best to go about getting that on a budget and also how best to finance that so you're not going to break the bank when you start out. The reason I'm talking about the Sony ZV-E10 is, well, I own it, but it's also the cheapest interchangeable lens camera that Sony have out. It's actually marketed as a vlogging camera so it's kind of aimed at creators and video making, but it's got the same sensor as a Sony A6400 has, or had rather, I just don't think they make it anymore. But that was more of a photography camera, so this does take great photos as you've just seen. And if you pair it with a lens like this, which is the Sigma 10 to 18 millimeter lens, then you're going to get some great results as you've just seen. This actually costs 600 pounds, so altogether it's a 1200 pound setup. But if you go on the second hand market, you could easily get a setup like this for less than a thousand pounds. And it's why I advise you to go with a crop sensor or APS-C cameras if you're just starting out, because the cameras are a lot cheaper and the lenses are a heck of a lot cheaper too. So you're gonna save a lot of money if you compared to if you went full frame. I'm not saying don't go with a full frame camera. If you can afford it, get one, because you're gonna get great results. I actually have been shooting for the last five years with the Sony a7 III because it was a great hybrid camera and I had the Sigma 14 to 24 millimeter lens on there. But altogether, that setup cost about £3,000. So that's nearly triple the price of this setup here. So like I say, if you are starting out and maybe you're not sure if you're gonna go into this industry full time or you just wanna try it out to see how you go, then I would recommend starting with the APC crop sensor cameras because you're gonna save yourself a heck of a lot of money. Part of the reason that you don't need to go full frame and you don't need the amazing sensors which are out there which have great dynamic range and work great in low light is because when you shoot real estate photography you're mainly shooting several exposures like you might be shooting bracketed HDR shots or you might be shooting flambient so you're shooting flash and ambient and then you're layering or merging these shots together so you're actually getting that dynamic range in a kind of manual fashion you're not just working with one image having to pull back the highlights or bring up the shadows you're actually using several images to get all that dynamic range which is why you don't need the amazing sensor that are that are out there on the full frame cameras so you can get away with using these crop sensor cameras and get great results like I've just shown you at the start of this video. Obviously, if you're just starting out in this industry, you're gonna need a few other bits of equipment to get started. So yes, you're gonna need your camera and your lens, but you're also gonna need a tripod to put it on and you're gonna need a flash and a flash trigger. I know there's gonna be some people watching this saying, no, you don't, just shoot HDR, you don't need a flash. That's a whole other video I'm not gonna get into, but I would advise get a flash and a flash trigger so you can do off camera flash because there definitely are times you're gonna need it to get better results. And the other thing you're gonna need is a bag to carry your equipment in. So let's talk through those now. So in terms of a tripod, you can pick up a tripod for about 50 pounds. I shoot with KNF Concept tripods and mine costs about 80 pounds, but you can get one from them for about 45, 50 pounds and it's gonna be a decent quality and do a great job. When you get one with them, you'll probably get a ball head to mount your camera on. And these are fine, you can use them. I personally prefer to use a geared head as this gives you a bit more stability and a bit more control doing minor adjustments, which is really handy when shooting real estate or architectural photography. And I've actually done another video about that, which I'll put in the links below. But when you're starting out and maybe you don't wanna spend money on the geared head because that will cost about 170 pounds, you can just go with the ball head that you'll get with the tripod and you will be able to get the job done. But, and then later down the road, you can get a geared head to put on your tripod. Next up, we've got flash. And with Sony cameras, I shoot with Godox flashes. And you can get this flash, the V8602, 
for about £160 I think on Amazon now. I actually shoot with the Godox AD200 which I think costs maybe three or four hundred pounds maybe so it's a bit more expensive it's a bit more powerful but you can use this and get amazing results because I actually left my The Flash in a property not so long ago and I couldn't get it for a couple of weeks and I had this as it's my backup one and I used it for two weeks and had absolutely no problem no complaints from the clients it works absolutely fine so you'll be good to go with this for about £160 as I say and you'll also need a flash trigger this again is by Godox and it's an X Pro S this again does cost a bit more I think it's about 80 or 90 pounds but you can get another type which is about 50 pounds I think so you can get the flash and the trigger for about 200 pounds and you'll obviously need a bag to put all this in and there are loads of options to be honest on Amazon you can pick up a bag for about 30 pounds just make sure you can grow with it because you're going to start out with this equipment but then you're going to get more equipment along the way which I'm going to get to soon so just make sure it's got plenty of inserts that you can adjust to fit all this equipment you're going to get. So let's just run through all those main bits of equipment you'll need to get started in real estate photography. So you've got the ZVE 10 here for £600, a Sigma 10 to 18 millimeter for £600 too and then you're going to get your flash which is about £165 I think and then a trigger you can pick up for about £50 and then a tripod again about £50 and then a bag for about £30. So in total you're looking about £1500 to get started with brand new equipment in real estate photography. And I know that might sound quite a lot still to a lot of people, which it is, but there is a way to spread the cost which I'll go into now. So if you are a bit concerned that you're going to have to shell out £1500 straight off the bat, there is a way around it which I did to begin with and I still do now for some bigger ticket items and that is if you can get a 0% credit card which you can usually spread over 12 to 18 months maybe even more and this way you'll only be paying back no more than like £100 per month and that should be pretty affordable especially once you get several clients because you're going to be able to charge that just for one job pretty much so it's a much easier way to spread the cost just make sure you do make those monthly payments otherwise you will be hit with the big interest charges. As well as taking photos I'd strongly advise you start learning the other services that you should offer in this property media industry as well because that way you're going to pick up more clients because estate agents now kind of expect you to be a one-stop shop or at least they would like you to be a one-stop shop because that just makes their life so much more convenient to be able to just book one person that can go and do it all rather than having to dish it out to several people and arrange several different appointments and those services are drawing floor plans doing drone shots virtual tours and videos and I know all that might sound quite daunting but if you just take one at a time you'll get there and it's a great way to get more clients. And I know you're probably thinking well that's just another extra cost. Well it is but again these things can be bought a lot cheaper these days than they were maybe a few years back. I mean let's get started with the floor plans which you've really got to be doing especially here in the UK. If you're not doing floor plans well you have to be because just you won't get hired because people expect photos and floor plans just to go hand in hand now and I draw mine manually I use a laser and I sketch them out on a notepad and then send them away to be drawn overnight and then send them back to the client the next day I know in the US I think a lot of people use Cubicasa so I'd maybe just take a look at that and get on board with that but these here these this is the Lysha Disto I think these cost around £100 but you can definitely get cheaper ones by Bosch for about 50 or 60 pounds perhaps. The next service I would advise getting into soon is shooting video because this is the one that's probably going to make the most money the quickest and is also actually probably the easiest one to get into because we've all got phones in our pocket now and most of them have wide lenses on them and all you're going to need then is one of these a mobile gimbal. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and I think it's about probably £130 now so not cheap but you can probably get cheaper ones on Amazon which is going to do a great job. And you can, once you've got your phone on one of those, you can pretty much put it on auto and get some pretty decent results, to be honest. And the other great thing about them is you can easily put them into vertical mode to shoot stuff for TikTok and Instagram Reels, which obviously estate agents love doing now. So that's why I say it's a great way to get started in shooting real estate video. The next bit of equipment I would advise you to get and learn how to use is a drone. This here is the DJI Mini 2 and you can get the Mini 2 SE for about £270 now. The reason these little mini drones from DJI are so great is because they're under 250 grams. 
That basically means you're going to be allowed to fly them in more places. Obviously, wherever you are in the world, there's different restrictions and different laws you've got to stick to, so make sure you're checking them first. But these little drones are a great place to start. I mean, they do go up to about 700 pounds, but they're great because like I say, you can use them in a lot more spaces. And agents love these elevated views, and they're great to get cinematic footage with for video too. And then the last bit of equipment I would say to get, and probably the easiest one to use to be honest, is doing virtual tours. I mean, this is the Ricoh Theta Z1 here, and this is like the top of the range model and costs about 800 pounds. But I'd get one that you can use with Matterport because it's a really easy way to create 360 models. And you can get the Insta360 ONE X2 for about 250 pounds now. And they're so easy to use and agents do use them a lot. So I'd highly advise getting one as they're a great way to earn a bit of extra cash. So let's just run through all that equipment if you were to go full property marketing media. So we've got the camera, £600, the lens, £600, the flash for £165, the flash trigger, £53, bag for £30, a tripod for about £45, then we've got the drone, £270, the Insta360 ONE X2 for £265, laser measurer, 60 pounds and then an Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal for 130 pounds and in total you're looking at about 2200 pounds and I know that might sound quite a lot which it is but if you think about how much some of these full frame cameras cost the body alone can cost 2000 pounds I mean you can get the a7c2 for about 1600 pounds or the a7c for a bit less but um, you're still going to have to pay for the full frame lenses which is going to cost a heck of a lot more so if you can get all this equipment for just over £2,000, that's pretty good going. And the sooner you can start offering all these services, the more money you're gonna make quicker and the quicker you're gonna be able to pay all this off. And like I say, if you can do it on a 0% credit card, that's a great way just to spread the cost. So if you wanna learn a bit more about these services, I've done a video here where I talk about why you should get into those services. But thanks for watching guys. Happy shooting and good luck.